Three generations of a Detroit family have been gunned down less than four months, including a mother and a son whose alleged 16-year-old killer was charged. Malcolm Hardy was charged as an adult with first-degree murder and armed robbery in connection with the February 18th, February shootings of three people identified as LaShawn Marshall, her five-year-old son, Caleb Harris, and her boyfriend, Aaron Benson. On October 26, Marshall's mother and Caleb's grandmother, Yvette Sewell, was fatally shot four times on the porch of her east side Detroit home. Marshall's sister, Chanel Marshall Sewell, said they never found who did that. Now we're dealing with this. Caleb's sixth birthday was going to be Sunday. He was an awesome kid. He loved Batman and Johnny Quest. He wanted to go see the new Batman movie when it came out in March. LaShawn was said to be the comedian of the family. Marshall Sewell said her sister didn't know her alleged killer, but Hardy was an acquaintance of Benson. Hardy is expected to be arraigned by video. A warrant request for a second team who also was arrested this week in connection with the killings was denied by Worthy's office for a lack of evidence. Police were alerted to the killings on a Sunday night when Benson's cousin dialed 911 after discovering the bodies during a wellness check at the victim's home in the 15,000 block of Evergreen. Police were dispatched to the home where they observed each of the three victims fatally shot multiple times. Caleb was killed several days before his birthday. A spokesperson said, the allegations in this case warrant charging the defendant as an adult. This case is truly disturbing, especially as it relates to young Caleb. For many reasons, it is disheartening to know that a juvenile is alleged to have committed these acts. In Caleb's grandmother's case, Police say the 59-year-old woman was ambushed after parking her Ford Explorer in her driveway. She was shot as she was about to enter her home in the 4900 block of St. Clair Street. The suspects were seen fleeing the scene with a man driving a black pickup. Crime Stoppers are offering a reward of up to $2,500 for information leading up to the arrest in the Sewell case.